and welcome to my channel. I am Stephanie and this is the week 23 <laughs> weekly wrap up June the 2nd through the 8th as well as a little majority uh, hashtag smutathon uh, wrap up reviews for the week. to save my life right so look at my awesome nails oh my goodness I don't know if you guys can see it but I went and had them done and you can tell that my house is cold because my tips are a darker blue and um that means it's cold they change color they're pretty freaking awesome I love them um I'm getting my hair done next week well tomorrow and uh, it will be like real cute I'm getting rid of this purple and I will never shorten my Senegalese twist ever again. So, yeah, that's real off the topic. But um, this week was pretty interesting. I didn't do, I did get a bingo for Smutathon, which I'm super proud of. Yay, look at that. So awesome. Um, but I didn't, I only read three books, which constituted, it was awesome. I combined a whole bunch of different things. But I also got seven books read this week and although um the other ones that didn't fit into the categories for smutathon they were still super smutty um i don't think i had any reads that were below a steam factor of three this week so let's get into what i read this week I started off the week by reading Overture North Security Number One by Sky Warren. I place this in dark romance. I did read it for Smutathon in the categories of Forbidden, One Word, and Finish in a Day Challenge. I give this book 3.75 stars. I give it three Steam fans, and I listen to it on audiobook. So. I also read this book for a Polycon 20 in 20 challenge, which is Sky Warren's going to be at a Polycon. <laughs> Super excited for that. Um, so the, like I said, this is a dark taboo uh, forbidden. I can't talk today. Forbidden romance between a, a violin prodigy and her sort of guardian. He has connections with her father, and when she was, like, young, or 16 or so, I think it was, he was killed, His fa her father was killed, and she went to live with this guardian, and when she turned 18, she started started coming into her feelings about how she thought he was sexy. He's prior military, but he's also in this, like, security business, which is where it usually those security people come from. Yeah. Um, and it was, I liked it. I really enjoyed it. It definitely is a setup book because there are, it, this is going to be a trilogy and Concerto is the second book and I can't wait to get into that one. The next book that I finished last week was Greed, which is Elite number seven. This book was by Kerr Duque and Kay Webster. This is the final book in the Elite seven series, which I'm going to do a full video on on the entire series because it's amazing it's amazing um it's a dark romance i read it as an arc i give this book 4.75 stars and three steam fans oh my goodness so uh, this book follows greed or micah and a mystery woman which i'm not going to tell you because if you have not read the series i'm not giving you any spoilers just know that miss mayhem is uh, amazing oh my goodness i loved 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 how it ended up turning out i mean these two were just absolutely amazing amazing and I was it was bittersweet to have the series end because over the last um three months I believe it was that I've been reading the seven books together there's been ups and downs and twists and turns and I just uh just just be on the lookout for the full series review video because I, I, I don't have enough time to talk about it all right now 
The next book that I finished was The Virgin Roommate, which is Virgin Marriage Number no. 3 by Alexa Riley. I listened to this on the podcast of Read Me Romance. Read, read me romance. I give it four stars. I give this book five humongous steam fans. And if you know Alexa Riley, you know that they're coming with the hot, the steamy, the fun, the sexy, just... Oh, yes, everything that I was looking for in this story was there, and I loved it. I loved it. I mean, uh, period. No shame. I loved it. Um, you have Gia, who is the sister to a character that I guess we've already met, and um, Marco. Both of them have had an attraction to each other, and then they finally give in to their attraction and are like, yep, we're going to take this to the next level. And it's all about, you know, hey, I'm a virgin, and I want you, and I need you, and just, it, it's, it's smutty. It's so smutty. It's just, ah, it's the goodness of smutty. The next book that I finished was The Affix Up by Kendall Ryan. I place this in New Adult. I give this book 4.5 stars. I give it four Steam fans. I listened to it on audiobook. There was a reason I read this book. I can't remember what the reason is, but this book follows Cameron and Sterling, and Cameron is the matchmaker. Sterling is going to possibly lose his inheritance if he doesn't get married based on the stipulations of his inheritance. Well, Cameron and Sterling have had an attraction to each other for a while, but they're fighting it because he is her client, so they have to work through that. It was fun. It was sexy. I loved it. I really enjoyed it. And it was smutty. Once again, loved it. The next book that I finished was A Girl Like Her by Telia Hilbert. I placed this in contemporary interracial romance. Um, I give it four stars. I give it three Steam fans. I listened to it on audiobook. I read it for Smutathon for the categories of um, New to Me Author and author of color um, because Talia is an African-American woman and I enjoyed this story. I guess you can say it wasn't like over the top love but I did enjoy it. I am looking forward to reading more in this series. I loved, I did love, oh, oh my goodness, I loved that they did, that Talia did not play super heavy on the fact that it was an interracial couple, but that there was issues with their small town that they live in of Ravenswood. And I'm just like, yes. So our characters, Ruth is this nerdy comic kind of girl. She is known as the pariah of the small town that they live in. And Evan, um, according to the synopsis, says that he's ex-military. I sort of got that feeling, but I didn't really like believe that because it wasn't really mentioned that much or maybe I missed it. I don't know. Um, but I loved the fact that they were neighbors and he sort of like pushed his way into her life and wanted to make her come out of her shell. And I really enjoyed that aspect of the story. I mean, I liked the way that they sort of challenged each other and made each other see what they needed to see. So I enjoyed it and I look forward to reading more in that series by and more books by Talia. The next book that I finished was A Royally Matched, which was Royally Number no. 2 by Emma Chase. I placed this in Contemporary. I give this book five stars. Oh my gosh. And I give it four Steam fans. I listened to it on audiobook. I listened to it for Smutathon for the categories of my 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 different worlds and takes place in a foreign country because it takes place over in England, if I'm not mistaken, or in a European country. Um, so Henry is the soon to be king of his nation because his brother in the first book abdicated the throne and now Henry is was known as like the party boy and I just love I loved it. I mean come on come on so <laughs> so Henry wants to find you know that wants to see if he can settle down or whatever wants to show that you know he isn't always that party boy so in turn he decides to host a uh, TV show sort of like The Bachelor but in a royal style and 
all of the ladies because their laws in their country state that he has to marry someone that is of royal stature as he is but what does he find someone that is not he i mean she is she's a lady she has royal um blood but or lineage that's the word I was looking for. She has a royal lineage, so she is a lady, but she also happens to be the sister to one of the contestants. Oh, yes, I love that aspect. I loved that he wasn't as playboyish as his media persona was, and that she is sort of the shy, shy um, you know, person that once doesn't really want to have that life in the spotlight and everything like that. I just loved it. I really did. I so enjoyed it. I devoured this book. And then the final book that I read last week, finally getting through with it, um, but in a good way, was No Strings by Mila Hart. And this is a new adult short story. I received it as a physical arc from the authors um, in a blogger box, which is why I said finally got through with it because it was a physical book. And you guys know me and physical books don't go along very well. Um, I'm more of a person that can pop an earbud in, listen to a story or read it on my Kindle because I can take it everywhere. And the whole bookmark. I'm getting off topic. Let me get to it. So it's four stars. I give it four Steam fans. It's a short story. Braylon is this sort of pampered princess type of girl. You don't, we don't really delve into the character's sort of psyche or anything like that, right? Um, because it's a short story, it's like a novella. It's super short, and I didn't bring it down here again, but it's super short. So you have Braylon, like I was saying, she ends up going out to a club hooking up with this guy for one night. His name is Carter. They know nothing about each other. And lo and behold, they end up finding each other again. But before that, they can't stop thinking about each other. They don't only, they only have first names for each other. And the sex was like off the charts. It was Carter's birthday. And so it was like his he doesn't want strings. He's not about the commitment. And it's really cute. It's really sweet. It's super sexy. Oh, so fire. Yes. Um, and I just loved it. I really enjoyed it. And I kind of want more from these two characters because I want to see where they go. Um, it was really tied up at the end. So there really isn't very much that you can go from. But um, yeah, it was fun. It was great. Uh, let's see. What am I currently reading? Because I have been rambling here for a while. And this video is going to be super long. I am currently reading... Too Hard by Alexa Riley. I just wanted something short and smutty before I start Buzzwordathon on Wednesday. Yes, because we're starting in the middle of the week for a readathon. Weird. Um, so <laughs> just want to get a couple of smutty fun books in, being that even though I do my wrap-ups on Sundays, Smutathon actually doesn't end until this tonight at midnight. By the time you guys see this, hopefully I have a couple more smutty books read. Um, and if you go over and check my Instagram stories, you will know what I read. Also, if you haven't been checking my Instagram stories all month long, you guys are getting a look at the books that I have on my bookshelves back there in different categories all month. So go check that out. Also, description box if you want those links. So I am also reading Fix Her Up by Tessa Bailey. Starting on that one. This one releases here on Tuesday. So make sure you go check it out. I'm trying to get it done before then so I can let you guys know over on Instagram or on Goodreads how I felt about it. It is about a woman that gets a house, I believe, and she has to fix it up and has a bit of a romance with the contractor. And I'm pretty sure that Tessa uses some of her remodeling experiences or mishaps or possible things that could go wrong in this book as well. So I'm really excited about reading that one. That is, those are the books that I read this week, last week, read last week, and what I'm currently reading. Let me know down in the comment section if you guys are reading those. Have you read any of those? What you think about them? Are you looking forward to my Elite 7 
full video of all seven books together because they're amazing. <laughs> Have you read them? Because come come talk to me about them. I need someone to discuss with them. I have a couple people, but I need more. I need more because did you guys see the awesomeness in that craziness? Seven, six authors and, you know, yes. Okay, rambling. Again, as always, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, there is a feedback form down in the description box so you guys can help me improve my channel. Thank you for watching and we will see you guys later.